everybody, it's Junior. <laughs> I like being independent, not so much of an investment. No one to tell me what to do. Hey, everybody, it's Junior. Thank you for watching another one of my. <coughs> Lose my voice right now. So today is Wednesday and I know last Wednesday I didn't make a video for you guys so I decided that today I was going to do a video and last week I was at work but last week it was pretty busy but today is not that busy, I'm lonely, the phones aren't really ringing but if the phones end up ringing I'm going to have to stop recording and that's just the phone. So what today I decided to do, I decided to do another story for you guys, I decided to share my first love story. I know like two weeks ago I shared with you guys my first boyfriend. Um, and you guys told me that you guys didn't want to see the My First Love, so I'm going to do that for you guys today. So pretty much this started off uh, like around four years ago during the summer, so it's about to be like four years I believe in July or June around that time. Um, I don't recall, but um, it was pretty much a really like a soap opera type of love story, so I hope you guys enjoy. So I met him on Facebook and I know meeting people on Facebook and dating them is pretty much the stupidest thing you could do relationship wise because most of those people end up cheating but I mean I have heard of stories that people that meet on Facebook end up getting married and I'm pretty sure that's pretty good people that are like loopy in the head because I wouldn't think of myself marrying a person that I met on Facebook but you never know what happens the world is pretty weird. But yeah, I met him on Facebook and then um, we were talking for uh, like a couple of months before we traded numbers and then we started texting and after texting we upgraded to talking on the phone and then talking on the phone we went to webcam and so on and so on. Wait, where else can you go before, I mean after webcam and you can't touch each other. So after we started talking for a while we started talking about actually meeting and it turns out that his grandma and dad actually lived here in Los Angeles. And I was pretty excited because he told me he was coming in a couple of months and I was pretty excited because um, I actually started liking this guy and it's pretty weird because I mean I don't I never thought of myself actually liking a person I have never met in person. I mean it's pretty weird because you can't feel emotion for somebody you don't know, you get me? So I'm just gonna skip to the part where we actually met because after he told me he was coming to Los Angeles it took him a while to actually get here. And after he did get here, um, it took him like it took us like a week or two to meet because um, he hadn't seen his family and friends for a while and I understood that because if I hadn't seen my family and friends for like years, I would want to see them before I meet this random person I met on Facebook that might end up being like a rapist or you know some creep. So I understood that. So when we actually met, it was pretty weird because if you know me in person, like if you know me personally, you know that I'm really shy at first. Like I might be like the loudest person you know or I may be like the quietest depending on who I'm with. But with him, I was really shy because I actually liked him and I know it's weird, but it's possible. So um, it was pretty weird because we were in the place that we were going to meet and all I was doing, all I was thinking was hiding. So what I was doing was just hiding. There was some elevators and I just kept going up and uh, down, up and down the elevators because I just didn't want to, you know, actually meet because if you're really insecure like myself, you would you know, I was scared that I wasn't enough for the person or I was just like feeling that I mean that person wasn't gonna like me and I already felt like I mean I liked him and if he wouldn't like me I would feel really you know shitty because I mean at that point my self-esteem was lower than it is now I mean now I get like a lot of comments I mean compliments and all this from people and I'm not like the best looking person out there I mean they're like models and stuff but I mean I'm not editing my face like I don't have like a perfect skin like I'm not perfect, but nobody is, and I mean, I'm not trying to be, you know, somebody that I'm not. But I mean, at that time, I was really insecure, and all I did was hide and, you know, not trying to actually meet him because I was scared of everything. So what I actually did was I ended up going like a whole block away from the area that we said we were going to meet up because I was so scared of meeting him. But then after, I just told him that I was I was hiding over there, and he was like, why? And then he was just chasing me, and it was just like he was just. We were playing hide and seek. It was really weird, but I mean, it ended up pretty nicely because when we met, he actually thought that I was good looking and he was actually really cute in my eyes. So it ended up pretty good. So after I actually got over my shyness and I got over my awkwardness, we actually were talking for a bit and I figured out that he was, you know, the exact same person he was in the phone. He was really nice and sweet and everything. And I was just being the awkward little retarded boy, you know, that you don't want to talk to. I was being really shy. I wouldn't talk that much. But after getting all that, we had figured out that we met without actually making any plans. So if you have ever been to Los Angeles, you know that there's beaches 
everywhere. Like you go around the coastline, it's there's beaches everywhere. So we just decided to take the, you know, go to the beach. If you ever meet like anybody around here, the first thing they want to want to do is go to the movies or take you to the beach. Both of those things. I mean, I don't know why, but every LA boy out here decides to take you to the beach and the, or the movies. But I thought it was really cute at that time because I mean, I like going to the beach. Um, that was like our little spot where we actually, you know, got to know each other better. It was really nice because, I mean, we were both being weird, awkward. I mean, I wasn't, you know, the only awkward person. Uh, we were both weird together and it was pretty nice. Uh, we were talking for a bit and then when it got to that moment where actually, you know, we hadn't had our first kiss and we were trying to both hide our feet from each other. It was, you know, it, it sounds weird. But we were just being weird with each other. I mean, I don't know if he was just trying to make me feel better for being shy, but it worked. And um, we were playing in the sand like little kids being retarded. And um, we were just talking for a bit and then, I don't know what happened. We just paused and it just happened. I mean, our, you know, we just met, our lips met. It was really weird. I don't even know what I'm doing with my hands, but it was, you know, magical i guess and if you're watching this it might sound like i was obsessed with you but i wasn't i was just lagging you on that moment so after a couple of weeks of dating and going out and talking getting to know each other in person um we had the best days i had the best days of, at least of me i had the best days ever with that person i never thought i was gonna like somebody as much as i liked him and i after a while i actually thought about you know asking him and i did ask him I believe he was trying to get into something serious, but what he told me was that he was actually going back to Oklahoma, which is the place where he lives, um, in a couple of months. And my stupidity, you know, my feelings for him, I guess, um, blinded me, and I decided to, you know, actually ask him out, and we did. And um, we were dating for a while, and um, it was, you know, really good because, I mean, we were always together 24-7, and it feels like, you know, the moments I mean, we did had our, had our um, arguments and ups and downs, and, but every 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 relationship has those moments because, I mean, if it, it's good every single day, I mean, you will get bored of each other. But we were together every day, and I mean, every single day of the summer, uh, we were together, and it was absolutely, you know, awesome. And I ended up falling in love with this guy. I never, I didn't, you know know that I was in love until the moment that he was leaving it was absolutely devastating I was really sad I was crying I was feeling really bad um, I cried a lot I mean it was really hard to say goodbye uh, it was really you know a really bad experience because I actually fell in love with this guy it took me around four months which is incredible because I never thought that I mean I would fall in love with somebody that quick and I know it was love because I had never in my life felt that way about anybody like after he left, I mean, it took me a whole year to get over him. Uh, it was really bad, and up to today, I still feel like I would always have feelings for him. Not like, you know, love. You know, you know, would always care for that, your first love, and that's how I feel. And I want to make this long story short because it's already going on for like eight minutes. But I'm not really good at telling stories. And if he's watching this, it might be awkward because he actually, you know, hit me up, I think, like a month ago. And he's coming in June and he gets really well with my freaking whole family. So I know that they're gonna, you know, he's gonna come visit my family and I hope it's not awkward. But yeah, I just wanted to make that long ass story short because I have a lot of details and everything. And if you guys wanna know any details about my story, just let me know in the comments down below. And I'll probably do a second part to this because I mean, there's a lot of things that you guys haven't heard because I mean, this video is already long enough and I didn't want to make you guys sit around there because. Um, I love YouTube, like YouTube is my life, like I spend like every day, there's not one day where I don't watch a YouTube video and I do not like sitting through a whole video of a person talking and this is what I'm doing right now so I don't want to you know, torture you guys that I know that like you guys are going to end up not watching it but I'm just wanting to make it shorter and it just doesn't work, I mean I'm going to try to edit this as short as possible but if I don't I'm sorry. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this story of my first love and if you guys want to know anything just let me know down below and I'll do a second part. But just make sure you guys subscribe because I'm going to be posting more videos weekly. Um, I'm not sure of the dates because of work and everything, but I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be posting every week. Please make sure you thumbs up this video if you want to see more story time. And um, share with your friends, subscribe, comment down below, all that magical stuff. And please like my page on Facebook, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll put the link down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.